Hello students, this is the second video of, um, we're working with polynomials and we're talking about, in the last video we were talking about using polynomial theory to discuss what our end behavior would be, what our, um, how many zeros we would find and how many extrema we would see. So, um, but in this one we want to use algebra to find our zeros. So a good thing now to talk about, the reason why I bring up our last video was because if you know polynomial theory, you know that at maximum I'm going to only be looking for three zeros um, and that's because uh, my degree is three on this polynomial so uh, using algebra we're going to attempt to find the three zeros for this function and uh, you know so what we do is we basically set the function equal to zero and remember, any time you're dealing with a higher order polynomial, you always move all the terms over to one side. It's not a linear function. And you usually solve it through uh, something to do with factoring. And um, so here I'll take, out, uh, I'll take out my greatest common factor. So I take x out. And I have x squared minus x minus 6. And I'm going to now factor the trinomial. And that's going to be x minus 3, x plus 2. And now, when I set these three linear terms equal to 0, I have three separate equations to solve, which are easy equations. But you should realize that we are solving three separate linear equations. Let me just write this down correctly. And when we solve them, we get x equals 0, x equals 3, and x equals negative 2. Now, since we solved them so quickly, it would be always it would be good to draw a graph, and um, you know I'll just draw a quick sketch of a graph because it looks like a cubed function. I know that the function is going to come in; it's going to it's going to basically appear to be a pure cubic, but in the middle it's going to have uh, some ups and downs based on where the zeros are. So here I'm going to plot the zeros. I have one at zero. I have one at uh, negative two. And I have one at three. And I know that as I come in to the function, it's going to have this general behavior. I'm going to have two extreme values because polynomial theory dictates that if the order is three, I will have at maximum uh, two extreme values. And I will have three zeros. So hopefully this video has helped you understand how we use algebra to find the zeros if the function can be solved algebraically. And then I just plotted the picture to show you what it would look like. So, hope uh, this video helps, and I look forward to hearing your comments. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to talk about what happens if we have uh, zeros of, um, of varying multiplicity. So, make sure you tune into that one so you can see how you would graph functions of that sort.